Hey everybody, so I just watched a video on YouTube about a guy in Berlin. He just wheeled around 99 smartphones in a small wagon to create a virtual traffic jam that didn't exist on Google Maps. Now that sounds crazy, maybe a little funny, and yet you can say people are looking for creative ways to show you how this whole system of technological advance is flawed. Being a student of Kabbalah for many years now, I have a much wider perspective on how technology is really being abused and being used in ways that maybe nature didn't intend for us. And you can even go further and say that in 10 to 20 years, we won't need to do anything technology will be able to take care of us. Everything that we need in life will be provided to us. Our ego would rather receive everything that it can with a minimal amount of effort. And that is exactly what the wisdom of Kabbalah teaches us, perhaps to raise an even bigger question. Are we just slowly reaching this state where we no longer need to do anything? What's happening in the world? And maybe we're reaching a point where we can start to look inside and determine what is that real question that's burning in us, in each of us. Why are we alive? What is the purpose of our existence? We start from this unconscious state where the force of nature is developing us, sort of like a child in the mother's womb. It's developing, it's becoming something bigger, and yet it's not conscious of everything that's happening. And then we're born, and then we still go through these phases where we're learning how to develop, we're becoming more independent, and eventually become partners in the final stage where we're able to work in tandem with the creator, with the force of nature to achieve the purpose of creation, which is the desire to give, the desire to bestow, just like the force of nature does to all of creation, all of the creatures that exist. So nothing will change in the future other than our relationships with each other, because in order to bestow, we need something to aim towards, someone to aim towards. So this whole story about a man that's able to create this virtual traffic jam is just a wake-up call. If you'd like to learn more, check out the links below to some amazing beginner courses that will get you on the track to revealing life's purpose and what nature intended for all of us.